آب کوی بود تو یه هوا پاهشام یا باشای پاهشام رو کارک داشت که شو آم تو دی واندرد اسولایت به چون کیو کیو چیو داشت شد کن و در کل میکو ساتینو فن اندیا بو آر اپریس توگیده اکورنگ تو دی بوک آف شرمایا 50 ان 33 پتو هم سولای پتینت دی ادابشن دی گیلنگ آف دی لاو The promises, the glory, and the covenants, according to the Book of Mormon, chapter nine. Um, I have seen princes mm-hmm. working as servants mm-hmm. on earth and servants upon horses. You can read that in Ecclesiastes ten and seven. Okay, um, namely, okay, what I'm talking about here is the blessing according to Genesis twenty-seven and forty-one. <laughs> Apostle four and teachings, which according to the Book of Revelation fourteen and four. Who was sent to defilement by women? Okay, so okay. Um, may the kingdom, of ever, the kingdom of everlasting life and joy, the secrets revealed unto you, as a blood descendant of Jacob, whose name was later changed to Israel, according to the book of Genesis, to thirty two, so okay, and twenty eight, <coughs> scattered to the four winds of the earth, to the people first, of course. Okay, and today we we, we will read the book. Bell and the and the dragon and as you can see it in the title, um, this is not talking about um, an actual dragon. Um, if you think like, you know that flying serpent with uh, you know, with with fire coming out of uh, the mouth, Norman. Okay, even when I believe that, you know, but that's just me. That uh, I believe that dragons existed. <coughs> Okay, and even if it, if don't, um, they will exist in the kingdom because Israelites will not just create their own animals, but um, you know they can use the dragons, okay, to do certain things, okay. So you know, even if they don't exist, that they will exist in the kingdom of God, who you know the world calls it, but we know it's the kingdom of um, Israel. Starting with the 144,000, okay, and the 12 apostles, <coughs> okay, because we know it better, okay, because we are better. We can read it in Deuteronomy, okay. I chose you to be a special people upon all the nations on the face of the earth. Not saying that we don't look like the other nations, okay. You will have Israelites that look like every nation on this planet Earth, okay. But the bloodline is so-called Negro, Indian, and um, Latino descent. Okay, and if you don't know, check out my videos and you can see clearly. Okay, I always suggest the overview side. Okay, that you watch who are the Israelites today. Okay, we have a 12, 12 tribe chart. Okay, because there are 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, you should know that at least. So don't um, <coughs> watch that review video if you don't even know that, that there are 12 tribes. Okay, so you know that's a certain order to everything. Okay, and today we will read the the book as I've told you, okay, and it's only one chapter, so don't um okay, think, you know, like why is it that short and also why it is not in maybe your Bible. The reason why it's not um in every Bible is because they um put away with the apocrypha to basically put the people more into deception and to push lies and um false doctrine further on people, okay? Because if you don't know, uh, the world is given into the hand of the wicked, okay? And you can read that in the book of Job. And if you don't know that, okay, let's prove it real quick before we continue. Yeah. The world given and wicked, not like he has, um, the last class or something, okay, because Yahweh, okay, does things for a reason. And that's with Job 9 and 24, you know, to basically also to test uh, us, our people, okay, to test the Israelites and to basically <coughs> out-crystallize the two elect 144,000 in the book of Revelation. Uh, this is my intro. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges, the earth, who are the Israelites, okay. Dark ages is a good word, uh, you know, what I could say here. If not, I don't talk, I don't talk about it uh, in this video. Where and who is he? Okay. You know, uh, iconic lesson, or how you say in English, 
where they basically overpainted uh, every picture for us. Basically, okay, you know, uh, but worldly people don't even know that. Okay, so how much more they are in darkness when it comes to the truth? Okay, to the scriptures, which contains every answer, every answer to every question, but they don't look for answers. And King Astagius was gathered to his fathers, and Cyrus of Persia received his kingdom. And Daniel con uh, uh, conversed with the king and was honored above all his friends. Um, Salaka just look um, and just look at this recording um, with the king and was honored above all his friends. Now the Babylonians had an idol called Bel. Okay, there comes the name Bel from. And there was sent upon him every day twelve great measures of fine flour, uh, and forty sheep, and six vessels of wine. And the king worshipped it and went daily to adore it. But Daniel worshipped his own God. And the king said unto him, Why dost not thou worship Baal? Okay, so even the heathens have names, okay, for their God. And you coming over like saying, Our oh, God and Jesus. That's not working because even the heathens have a name to their heathen god, which is not a god at all. And god is just a title which means powers. So basically, the name is Yahweh, okay, because he has a name and he told you that in the Bible. Okay, so even the heathens had their name for their, uh, you know, wannabe gods, basically. Okay, but the scripture is telling you that they worship basically even wood and stone, okay, things that cannot speak, uh, neither, you know, have worth nothing, man, okay, but they actually, uh, but let's, let's read it, okay, and you will see, okay, but the scripture is talking, uh, of course, of these things, okay, that he actually really worship um, wood and stone, okay, which is created, which is not, um, you know, they worship the creation, but not the creator, so how, uh, you know, is that, okay? And the king worshipped it and went daily to adore it, but Daniel worshipped his own God, and the king said unto him, Why do it not thou worship her? Who answered and said, Because I may not worship idols made with hands, you see. But the living God, which means basically God is a word in the Hebrew, and it means powers, which means uh, basically the Father, the Son, okay, the angels, the elect, okay, powers, okay, this is a power, okay. Who had created the heaven and the earth and had uh, sovereign on over all flesh, okay? Sovereignty over all flesh, okay? The, then said the king unto him, Thinkest thou not that Baal is a living God? Seest thou not how much he eateth and drinketh every day? Then Daniel smiled and said, O king, be not deceived, for this is but clay within and breath without, and did never eat or drink anything. So the king was wroth and called for his priests and said unto them, If ye tell me not who this is that devoured these uh, ex pingis, ye shall die. But if ye can certify me that Baal devoured them, then Daniel shall die, for he had spoken blasphemy against Baal. And then they said unto the king, Let it be according to thy word. You know, that co there comes in that certain trust in Yahweh, you see. Now the priests of Baal were two score and ten, beside their wives and children, and the king went with Daniel into the temple of Baal. And so Baal's priest said, Lo, we go out, but thou, O king, set on the meat, and make ready the wine, and shut the door fast, and seal it with thine own sign. <coughs> and tomorrow, when thou comest in, if thou findest not that Baal hath eaten our lot uh, of all, we will suffer death, or, er, or else Daniel, that speaketh falsely against us, and they little regarded it, for under the table they had made a um, a privy entry, you see, <laughs> okay, a privy entry, okay, um, whereby they entered in continually and consumed those things. So when they were gone forth, the king that meets before Baal, now Daniel had commanded his servants to bring ashes and those that and uh, those they stood to all the temple in the presence of the king alone 
uh, then went they out and shut the door and sealed it with the king's signs and so departed. Now in the night came the priests with their wives and children as they were uh, wound to do, uh, and did eat and drink of all. In the morning, bedtime, and the king arose and Daniel with him. And the king said, Daniel, are the sealed soul? And he said, yes, O king, they be whole. And as soon as he had opened the door, the king looked upon the table and cried with a loud voice, Great O thou, O bell, and with thee is no deceit at all. And then Daniel laughed again, you know, then laughed Daniel basically, and held the king that he should not go in and said, Behold now the pavement and mark well whose footsteps Footsteps are these, okay? There were footsteps to see men on the ground. <laughs> and the king said, I see the footsteps of men, women and children. And then the king was angry and took the priests with their wives and children who shoot him the um, privy doors where they came in and consumed such things as were opened the table. Therefore the king slew them and delivered Bell into Daniel's power who destroyed him and his temple. And in the same place there was a great dragon which they of Babylon worshipped. And the um you see dragon, okay? So again, and in the same place there was a great dragon which they of Babylon worshipped. And the king said unto Daniel, Will thou also say this uh, say that this is of breast? Okay. Lo, he liveth, he eateth and trinketh, thou canst not say that he is no living God, therefore worship him. Okay, so this was no uh, living dragon flying around or some. okay? You know, people who don't read, uh, you know, they maybe believed it, okay? <clears throat> okay, other fables is, for example, okay, the book of Yasha, okay, the book of um, Enoch, okay, these are all fables, okay? Okay, of course it is mentioned. Okay, but we don't got the pure scripture today of these books, okay, because Esau had it in his hands, okay, and Esau, you know, if you look at our people, what they believe, okay, he can, what do you think he, he did with these books, okay, and he would deceive people with these books, okay, if he does it with the Bible already, that, that far, okay, no, it's already changed, um, if you read other scriptures than the King James Version, you will have many, uh, deceptive words in the Bible, okay? Many, many, many. Uh, <coughs> but where we are. Um, then said Daniel unto the king, I will worship the Lord Yahweh, my Alhaim, for he is the living God, you see, Alhaim. But give me uh, leave, O okay. king, and I shall slay this dragon without sword of death, the king Zaydi. I give thee leave. Then Daniel took pitch, fat, and hair, and did eat them together, and made lumps thereof. This he put in the dragon's mouth, and so the dragon burst in thunder, and Daniel said, Lo, these are the gods you worship. When they of Babylon heard that, they took great indignation and conspired against the king, saying, The king has become a, Lear, a, a Jew. Okay, a Jew, basically, because back then people knew that we are Jews, okay? Um, if some Khazarian fake Jew, uh, which they are in our land right now, would come up and say, I'm a Jew, okay, they would basically uh, uh, not believe, okay? Which they do also today, but um, according to prophecy, it has to happen that somebody is still out there who proclaims to be us and is not us, but a synagogue who says, okay, so um, this has to, prophecy is always right, so it's said like this. And he had destroyed Bel, he had slain the dragon, and put the priest to death. So they came to the king and said, Deliver us, Daniel, or else we will destroy thee and thy house. Now when the king uh, saw that they pressed him sore, being constrained, he delivered Daniel unto them, who cast him into the lion's den, where he was six days. And in the den, and in the den there were, were seven lions, and they had given them every day two carcasses, and two sheep, which or sheep, basically, which then were not given to them to the intent they might devour Daniel. Daniel. Now there was in Louis, um, Joey a prophet called Habakkuk, 
who had made pottage and had broken bread in a bowl and was going into the field for to bring it to the reaper. But the angel of Yahweh said unto Habakkuk, Go carry the dinner that thou hast in ba uh, into Babylon uh, unto Daniel, who is in the lion's den. And Habakkuk said, Yahweh, I never saw Babylon, neither do I know where the den is. Then the angel of Yahweh took him by the crown, the Malach, basically of Yahweh Malach, okay, which means messenger in the Hebrew, and bear him by the hair of his head and to the uh, vehemence, okay, Salah, yeah, vehemence, can the vehemence of the spirit set him in Babylon over the den, over the den, and Habakkuk cried, saying, uh, saying, Oh, Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which Allah, which means God, had sent thee. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O Allah, neither hast thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. And so they clearly discern between the name, which is Yahweh, and the title, which is power. Okay. So Daniel arose and did eat, and the angel of Yahweh, you see, said Habakkuk in his own place, again immediately. Upon the seventh day, the king went to be there Daniel, and when he came to the den, he looked in, and behold, Daniel was sitting. Then cried the king with a loud voice, saying, Great art thou, O Yahweh, Alahayim of Daniel, you see, power of Daniel, you see, great art thou, Yahweh, powers of Daniel, okay, basically in the Hebrew term. And there is none other besides thee. And he drew him out and cast those that were the cause of his destruction into the den, and they were devoured in a moment before his face. Ultimately, what you will see in the last time, in the last time, um, okay, when it comes to the 144,000, hopefully next, um, faithful believers with the full armor of Allah, okay, the full armor of Jehovah, okay, um, okay, ultimately, Okay, and you will, uh, if you read the book of Daniel, you can read that basically also, okay, that, you know, it always, uh, destruction and punishment and pain and sorrow and plagues and, um, you know, basically that comes to them, okay, who, who are not faithful, like, okay, the people who most likely they um, come in conflict with, okay because um, light will always work against darkness, or basically the darkness cannot be without the light, uh, but Yahweh created both, okay, and Yahweh wants the right hand of his hand to be uplifted in this time where we're living in, not the, not the left hand. The left hand is only there to basically punish the uh, fallen of Israelites, okay, and to be in slavery after that a thousand years, to be a slave servant unto the Israelites, okay, that's the only reason, okay. What of that, you know, you, you see, you saw bugging out, man, okay, uh, border from GMS camp, in Germany posted a video about um, Esau being pretty much um, angry against Asians in Babylon the Great, which is America, okay, <laughs> you know, uh, but that's just he in his envy, because he knows that you know, these Asian people will be blessed in the kingdom, okay, but Esau will be uh, not in that blessing like the other Hebrews, okay, basically. Okay, so basically racism against Asians, okay, is what they posted, you know. I saw this, I was not surprised at all, man, because Esau is falling out because you see that his time is uh, basically counted, man. Can we start our praises to Yahweh, why Yahweh shall you see? Because even this king here and this story here, <clears throat> which you can prove, okay, okay, um, you know, we can prove that there was a flood, we can prove all of the Bible, but um, evolution believers, believers, which is a religion, okay, can prove anything, can't prove anything, um, you know, basically, you know, he knows that his time is counted, man, Okay, so that's why he's bugging out, man. Okay, you know, because all the nations will be blessed 
uh, to us being in Rudershik. Okay, the white chips being in Rudershik. Okay. I will shout all praises to Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? Okay, uh, I suggest you to use the King James Version 1611 um, again. Okay. Uh, you know, all praises to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, 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 Lord willing, you learned uh, some of these lessons, okay? Peace out.